Well, a second person has now died from the coronavirus in this state, and authorities say there are a total of 13 cases now here. Three of those cases are in Snohomish County. The other 10 are in King County. The two confirmed deaths are among those cases in King County. We have team coverage for you tonight. We're going to begin with Kristen Ayers in Kirkland, where the majority of those cases are, including this latest death. Kristen? Right, this is the center of that investigation tonight, and it's where the man who uh, died from coronavirus, the second man to die from coronavirus, lived. He is the second in the state and in the country. And tonight, family members of other people who live here say this is hitting them hard. Uh, a second death. Here. A woman stunned to hear of a coronavirus death at the nursing home where her 89 year old mother has been living for three weeks. Yeah, that's concerning. Too close to home. Kim Fry traveled from Twisp, Washington to see her mother at Care Life Center of Kirkland tonight. The nursing facility now at the center of an investigation into a possible coronavirus outbreak. More than 50 people who lived or worked here are hospitalized and undergoing testing for coronavirus. Ambulances were coming and going last night and into this evening. The four new cases announced tonight, the man in his 70s who died and three other patients in their 70s, 80s and 90s, all in critical condition. Initially, the facility banned any visitors, but Fry says she was given a mask and allowed to go inside. I didn't hear any coughing. Every It's kind of quiet in there. Inside, some patients who may have been exposed were being quarantined, but there are already concerns that the disease has spread beyond this building. 25 Kirkland firefighters and paramedics who may have had contact with coronavirus patients are currently quarantined. The Lake Washington Institute of Technology campus will be closed Monday and Tuesday while crews disinfect it after 17 nursing students and four faculty members spent time at the nursing home last week. Back at Life Care, Fry says her mother is one of the lucky ones who is symptom free. Well, she looks really good tonight, so I'm very encouraged. Now, the first coronavirus death uh, actually happened yesterday. It was a man who was in his 50s and was considered medically high risk. He died at Evergreen Health. Live in Kirkland, Kristen Ayers, King 5 News. Kristen, thank you. Let's update you on some other coronavirus cases we learned about earlier today. A man in his 60s is hospitalized in critical condition at Valley Medical Center in Renton. The hospital says he's in an airborne infection isolation room. Another man in his 60s is hospitalized in critical condition at Seattle's Virginia Mason Medical Center. Now, both of those men have underlying health problems, which makes it harder to fight off the virus. Uh, this weekend, Governor Inslee declared a state of emergency to give state agencies the necessary resources to prepare and respond to an outbreak. Now, among the states, uh, this state's coronavirus cases, a uh, Mill Creek teen who attends Jackson High School. That school is now closed tomorrow, and so is Hazen High School in Renton, and we just learned about some other schools that have some closures as well. King 5's Britt Moore is live in Renton tonight with more on that angle. Britt? Yeah, the list of school closures is definitely growing tonight. Like you said, school officials here at Hazen High School have decided to, sc to close the school tomorrow as a precaution. We're also learning that Kentwood High School and Covington Elementary School in the Kent School District and Bothell's Frank Love Elementary School in the North Shore School District will also close tomorrow. Definitely a growing list of school districts making that decision to close schools come Monday as concerns over over the coronavirus continue to grow. Hazen High School in Renton is closed Monday while custodians clean the campus after officials learned a student and their parent were experiencing flu symptoms. Through the day they've been cleaning the school, specifically in, in the high uh, contact areas, hallways, door handles, water fountains, those kinds of things. The parent, who works in the healthcare industry, got sick last Sunday. The student got sick Wednesday and did not go to school Thursday or Friday. The student and parent were both tested for coronavirus on Saturday and are self-quarantined at home while they wait for test results. It's important for our families and families all over to know that um, school districts and, and communities are paying attention to this. Uh, we are um, prepared. Jackson High School in Mill Creek is also closed Monday after a student tested positive for coronavirus. That student is isolated and home and is doing well. 
Meanwhile, Bothell High School was closed Thursday and Friday due to coronavirus concerns and plans to reopen Monday. This closure was sparked by a sick family member of a staffer, both of whom had traveled internationally. The family member tested negative for the virus. And the state's largest school district, Seattle Public Schools, says there are currently no confirmed cases of coronavirus within the school system, but officials are closely monitoring the situation. Britain school officials say the student here at Hazen High School did not have any siblings attending any other school, so that is not a concern right now. But officials do urge anyone who may be experiencing any flu like symptoms to please stay home. For now, we are live in Renton. Britt Moore, King 5 News. OK, Britt, thank you. Also tonight, the U.S. Postal Service confirms a female employee in federal way tested positive for coronavirus and is recovering at home. The Federal Way Postal Facility has been cleaned. King County's Department of Public Health is aware of that case. Uh, seven paramedics in Redmond have been placed on quarantine, but we're told the fire department is fully staffed and responding to calls as normal. The Redmond Police Department had said via Twitter that out of an abundance of caution, seven of our medics have been quarantined due to possible exposure to the COVID-19 virus. Uh, today, New York Governor Andrew Cuomo confirmed that state's first positive case of coronavirus. Uh, the woman in her 30s had recently traveled to Iran. Officials say she's been quarantined in her home in Manhattan. Now, around the world, there are now more than 89,000 confirmed cases of coronavirus. Johns Hopkins University is providing this map, which shows the number of confirmed cases in more than 60 different countries. It says there are 86 cases in the U.S. More than 3,000 people have died across the world, with most of those deaths in mainland China. Among the confirmed cases, almost half have already recovered. The World Health Organization urges people over 60 or with an underlying medical condition to avoid crowded areas where they might come into contact with somebody who's sick. China, South Korea, and Italy have the most coronavirus cases. Italy's infection rate jumped 50% today. More than 1,600 are infected there. 34 have died. Masses were not held because churches closed. Close to a dozen towns near Milan are still quarantined. More than 50,000 people are on lockdown. Today, a top Italian official warned of what he called a, quote, possible tsunami effect on hospitals if the outbreak isn't contained. Now, one of the difficult things with something like this is keeping our viewers and the public apprised on any new developments, and there have been a lot, while also trying to not cause any hysteria. Look, there are some things we just don't know about the virus, but there are a lot of things we do know. So we're going to try to separate facts from fear and give you some figures that hopefully put this virus into uh, context a little bit better. So, so far, there have been two deaths in Washington state from coronavirus. This flu season, there have been 74 deaths in Washington state. Nationwide, as many as 41,000 deaths might be linked to the flu. Current estimates say that 80% of people who come down with coronavirus will not need hospitalization. So why is it so concerning? Well, again, it's fairly new for us and there's no vaccine available for the public yet. So it's all up to your immune system, which is why it's most dangerous for elderly and those with underlying health conditions. It also may be easier to catch and deadlier than the flu, but that needs context as well. And we just don't have all of the information just yet. Uh, we know there is a lot of information to try to digest. So we have compiled it in a special coronavirus section on our website. All you have to do is text the word virus to 206-448-4545. We will send you a direct link. And then coming up in a few minutes, an infectious disease expert is going to be answering some questions about the coronavirus.